Hello everyone, this is Brielle, host and creator of Greek Peak, and in this video, we will show you some exciting and interesting things about Cyclopes in Greek mythology. Uh oh. Okay, we will come back to this great story later. First, we will talk about the three friendly and loyal Cyclopes that lived on Mount Olympus. Brontes, Argies, and Steropes. They were skilled craftsmen and were known for making Zeus's thunderbolt. Thank you, craftsman. Hades' helmet of invisibility. Poseidon's trident. And Artemis's bow and arrows. Now you know about the friendly Cyclopes, it's time to talk about a not so friendly one, and Polyphemus was one of the worst. This is the story of Odysseus and Polyphemus, my own retelling just for you. One day, Odysseus was sailing from a victorious war back to his home, Ithaca. Odysseus and his soldiers were very tired and hungry, so they set anchor on a seemingly harmless island. They then went into a cave to rest for the night. Inside the cave, they found some livestock, cheese, and milk. They, without considering who lived there, drank and ate their fill. Never a good idea. Suddenly, a voice called from outside the cave, Who's there? The voice turned out to be a cyclops, whose name was Polyphemus. He rolled a rock across the entrance. They were trapped. Hmm, pesky pests eat food. Rude little pests. You stay till I figure what to do with you. Odysseus's men trembled in fear. Odysseus noticed that the cyclops wasn't very bright. He would have to use that to his advantage. In the morning, the Cyclops let his sheep and goats out to graze. When he closed the rock, Odysseus called to him, I am sorry to eat your food and drink, Cyclops. Would you like some of the beverage I bring as well? Why, yes, I am very thirsty. What is your name? Nobody, Odysseus answered. Odysseus gave him the jug of wine he had brought along. When the Cyclops had jugged it all down, he immediately fell to the ground in a deep slumber. Quick, Odysseus ordered his men. He drove a sharpened stick into the Cyclops' one eye. Ow! Nobody has hurt me! Somebody help me! The poor Cyclops wailed all night until he cried himself to sleep. As usual, he let his sheep and goats out in the morning. What he did not notice was that each one of Odysseus' men was tied to the underbelly of each of the livestock. Odysseus and his men escaped to live another adventure. Just another day. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to inspire me to create more videos for you. Bye!